Lead is a naturally occurring toxic metal. Even low amounts of lead can negatively affect almost every system in the human body. However, lead is also soft and malleable with a low melting point, which has allowed humans to easily shape and use it throughout history. While lead is currently used in batteries and radiation shields, historically it was found in a variety of items, including jewellery, coins, pipes, ammunition and petrol. By the early 20th century, lead was known to be toxic, but it wasn't until the 1980s and 90s that most lead-based products were banned in the UK. This widespread usage has resulted in lead pollution that can still cause issues today. There are over 1,300 abandoned metal mines in Wales alone, most of which are still surrounded by mining waste containing toxic metals, including lead. These metals can be moved by wind and water from mine sites into surrounding environments. While mine sites are known to be contaminated, little is known about the lead concentrations in surrounding areas or the impacts lead has on local plants, animals, food produce and people. Researchers from the University of Nottingham are trying to find out the extent and effect of lead pollution from mine sites. They collected samples from mines and their surrounding areas. High, potentially toxic amounts of lead were found both at mine sites and in areas downstream. High amounts of lead were also present within plants and animals, as well as in animal products such as eggs. These results show that large amounts of lead can travel up the food chain, affecting animals and potentially reaching humans. Understanding the extent of lead contamination will aid in focusing remediation efforts. Mine sites can be capped and spoil heaps can be reduced. Smaller actions, such as providing food and drink to animals in troughs or growing vegetables in raised beds, can help limit lead exposure. This research provides valuable information about lead pollution to help limit its spread and impact in the future.